And so I'm, I'm glad that we're having a debate on a substantive issue around um, how do we build more homes in, in Canada. Now, I will say to you that uh, um, we have that challenge because of the fact that Canada is growing. Uh, we're growing in size. We're 40 million people now. And that's, I'm one of those people who say that that's a good thing that we are uh, growing as a country, um, as, as we have an aging population, and we need to make sure that we have more young people who are working in our country and, and are able to populate our country from coast to coast to coast. But of course, uh, with, with that comes um, challenges on the infrastructure. We obviously have to keep pace with the growing uh, population. We have to build uh, more homes. We have to build more roads, public transit. We need to make sure that the infrastructure necessary to, to serve these homes like water and sewer and uh, electricity is, is there as well, which of course all of it costs money and it takes um, time to build. Now, how do we go around doing that is a, is a really important question, and I think that's what we are debating here through this particular opp opposition day motion. And I will put aside all the name calling and all the personal insights. I think that's, that's beneath uh, this place, and I think it's beneath all of us. I want to uh, give credit where credit is due, that at least for the very first time, the Conservative Party uh, on this substantive issue has put forward a policy idea. Whether you agree or disagree, that's obviously all up to all of us, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that they've actually put forward an idea of eliminating GST from, uh, from home purchases, I believe, is under a uh, under million, uh, million dollars. Now, I believe that that's an, an idea that is merits a debate, but from my perspective, it's really not going to help build more homes. And Therefore, I will be voting against this motion, but let me lay out my, my reasons um, uh, for it. As I, as I see it, what, what's being proposed is basically to cut 5% uh, of the GST from um, all, I believe, new homes uh, that are being bailed at a million dollars uh, or less. But that's what it does, and I think, by according to the conservative it will save about $5,000. It does not create any incentive whatsoever to build more homes. Whether they are homes uh, to own, whether there are homes to rent, um, definitely what it does not do is create any incentive whatsoever to build homes that are affordable for people who are not able uh, to, to rent a home or own a home and, and need uh, a some sort of a subsidy, some sort of support in order to have uh, a roof over the uh, comments the honourable member for Bruce Gray, Owen Sound. Uh, thanks, Madam. I got two quick questions and a comment for the member opposite. So he was expounding on the importance of the Housing Accelerator Fund. Uh, it's supposed to be an equitable fund out to all ridings across the country. I'd just like him to name one Conservative held riding in Ontario that got a single penny of the Housing Accelerator Fund. Number two, because he thinks this is such a great fund, how many houses have been built? in his riding with the Housing Accelerator Fund. And my last thing, uh, last point, Madam Speaker, is just a comment. He mentioned that our proposal, the Leader of the Opposition's proposal, uh, that it will save $5,000 uh, on a million dollar house. 5% of a million is $50,000, not $5,000. Thanks, Madam Speaker. Well, Mr. Secretary. Um, thank you very much, uh, Speaker. I thank the, the member opposite for asking the question. I uh, enjoy working with him, and uh, I appreciate his, his public service. And I'll say to him, um, um, uh, there's a lot of examples, and I can take him on a, on a tour one of these weekends if, you, if he likes to in my writing. I mentioned already Gladstone uh, Village, which is right on, on uh, Somerset and Preston. You will see cranes are up. That housing, affordable housing, is going because of ex housing accelerator fund. You can go on Rochester and, uh, uh, and Gladstone by Adult High School. You will see there's housing that's getting built. Phase one is already up. Phase two is going up. That housing accelerator fund. You, I can take you to La Breton flag just down uh, the road. There's two cranes up right now, and there's uh, two towers that's going up. That's called Dream La Breton. We just and multi faith housing initiative is the non for profit housing mm -hmm. provider. That's housing accelerator fund. If you like, I can go through many other lists of actual housing, um, and I'll get you a list of all the conservative ridings uh, that are benefiting from housing accelerator fund as well. Okay, 